Bad Sisters Gang, welcome to Bath Dark. Thank you. My fangirl heart is screaming because this show put so much fire in my belly as a woman watching it. How was it to make it? Because, wow. It was, it was pretty amazing because we all got on so well. We genuinely got on really well. I'm not just saying that for you know because it sounds good. Um, Sharon Horgan obviously cast incredibly well along with Jervla and the Merman and Apple team, and they put together a bunch of sisters that really felt like sisters and mm-hmm. pals. So the dynamic and the crack and the energy and everything was was, was perfect. We felt the love and loyalty of family yeah. all together That's and all it. through on our own families and our own experiences and. Channeled, channeled our hatred and loathing and anger. <laughs> so and, 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 and it's not often you get permission to do that. I yes. get told you're acting, that's wonderful acting when you do it. Yeah, we had a glorious time making it. Like Derby set up a really lovely, comfortable atmosphere before we started shooting. Um, we all hung out for like two weeks and she brought us swimming in a kiddies pool. <laughs> It's not, often you, that, it's not often you get to direct in your swimsuit, but I can tell you it's very intimidating as a director being in your swimsuit with these girls. <laughs> oh, please. All, all gorgeous, all vital, all so strong. I mean, look, this, this uh, show was, you know, based on, based on another previous series. Um, how did you approach kind of making it your own and also making it so beautifully Irish as well? Um, I think, uh, well... The, the, close, the, the, the themes and the stories are similar to the original, mm-hmm. but I think setting it in Ireland and Sharon's unique approach to making it an Irish family and all the kind of banter and type of um, colloquialisms and exchange that, that are, I think, uniquely Irish. I mean, the love and the loyalty and the themes are universal. Of course. And then we um, set it in a part of uh, Dublin that's not normally seen um, on a on television normally you see inner city Dublin or the west of Ireland and then we kind of really leaned into the fact that they love to swim and that they were girls on the edge and islanders and um, yeah kind of brought a water team into it and made them water babies and I think the universality of that we all have we all have a bro- no, uh, a member of family who we try and avoid sitting beside oh, at the Christmas, I know, that's at the right. Christmas table. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I think dysfunction is so normal. I think this show... We can all relate to it. Well, that's, that's it. it I think everybody can relate to it. Not, mm. not necessarily the, the murderous side. Yes, but, maybe not that. But the family dynamics, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. And what was the feedback like uh, from, from viewers, all of you, like, individually, you know? I mean, for these amazing. Yeah, okay. And ongoing. Like, it's still just getting the most wonderful, positive feedback, yeah, which is just gorgeous. Course, all genders, all ages. Mm. Like, I think it really brought families together, you know? I think having it, you know, coming out week by week as well really helped kind of build momentum and word of mouth and yeah, it seemed like it was a show that people sat down together to watch rather than doing it on your own, right? Mm. And who would have thought that the most essential fashion accessory would become an eye patch? Hey, listen. Because <laughs> <laughs> eye patch. You made that eye patch work That's like right? a boss. It's really like a boss. Um, I want to talk to you for much longer, but listen, sadly we've run out of time. But look, guys, thank you so very much for your time. And honestly, congratulations on... Honestly, one of the best shows that I've seen for a very, very long time. Thank you so much. Thank you.